Hi guys! Welcome po sa Hugot Sip na yan. This is Sir JV or Matt Kahugot and welcome po sa ating channel. So para po sa ating video for today guys, ang pag-uusapan po natin is about problem solving involving system of linear inequalities in two variables. So guys, we're done with graphing uh, system of linear inequalities in two variables where we try to have the double shaded region which is said to be the solution set for a system of linear inequalities. So ngayon guys, ang pag-uusapan natin ay kung paano gamitin ang system of linear inequalities sa ating mga problem solving. So, kung gusto nyo malaman guys, let's have this video. So, objective natin guys, in this video lesson is very simple. We need to solve problem involving system of linear inequalities in two variables. So, basically guys, ang pagsasagot ng system of linear inequalities, if we're talking about problem solving, ay parehas lang din ng pag-solve ng ating mga system of linear equation. So, ibig sabihin, gagamitin natin guys yung representation, solution, syempre graphing, and also your conclusion. So, napaka-importante na guys, alam natin yung mga step-by-step -step process kapag nag-solve tayo ng problem para hindi tayo mahirapan o hindi tayo maligaw sa pagkasagot ng mga ito. So, we're going to have system of linear inequalities in two variable. So, magkameron tayo guys ng simple recall. Ang solution set guys ng system of linear inequalities in two variables are the sets of solution. So, solution siya guys ng ordered pair na magiging statement natin na linear inequalities are both true. So, kapag naging pares true yung ating statement at nasatisfy niya yung both linear inequalities, so, sparse siya ng solution set. At tandaan natin guys na ang solution set for every linear inequalities are half plane. Kapag yung dalawang half plane na yun guys ay nag-intersect, doon na bubuo guys yung natawag nating solution set for both linear inequalities or yung system ng linear inequalities. So, so tandaan natin guys yung pag-grab. Recall lang ito ulit ha. So, we're, we never have, we're dealing with less than or greater than. We use a broken line. For less than equal to or greater than equal to, we use a solid line. So, preferably guys, we also try to have yung ating 0, 0 or the origin as the reference point when we are trying to grab. So, tandaan nyo po guys, napaka-importante po nito na alam nyo yung reference point natin which is the origin or 0, 0. Pag nag-grab po tayo, kapag true siya yung statement, pag sinatute natin yung origin natin, si shade natin yung region kasama ang 0, 0 or ating origin. Kapag hindi naman guys, false siya or mali, automatic po yung region na hindi kasama sa origin ang ating shade. So, let's apply this concept sa ating problem for today. So, guys, I hope na malinaw na sa inyo kung paano mag ng linear inequalities kasi po, malaking uh, advantage doon sa mga maalam na. Okay? So, tunay na po natin yung problem natin. So, guys, yung sinabi ko sa inyo, guys, yung, ito po yung example ng representation ng ating linear inequalities in two variables so we're talking about the system so napasin nyo guys, ang ating first equation na ito ang second nating equation na ito ginarap siya simultaneously or pwedeng magkasabay o pwedeng, pag, pwedeng silang magkahiwalay na ginarap pero magkasama in a one Cartesian plane at kung napasin nyo guys yung kanilang common region na na-intersect at tinatawag po nating solution set for system of linear inequality. At yun guys, yung tinatawag kong double shaded region. Okay? So, parehas nilang na-satisfy yung rule for the first inequality at, at the rule for the second inequality. na guys, before we have the problem itself, recall muna natin guys yung mga key concept o keywords that we need to remember before we're dealing with problem solving. So, na-discuss ko na to sa other video guys. So, Bibigyan lang pa si uli natin to para ma-recall ninyo ano ba yung mga importanteng keywords sa dapat nating tandaan whenever we're translating a word problem into our uh, equation or our linear inequalities. So ito yung mga keyword na tandaan natin. So we have a less than. So we follow those words. So nabasa niyo naman po. 
For greater than, yan po yung ating mga words na ginagamit. So, I'm going to read few of them. So, we use below, under, fewer than, lower than, or smaller than. So, we're going to use less than. Pag gamit naman guys ay greater than, more than, exceed, larger, or longer than. So, we use greater than. Ito po yung mga keywords na dapat yung tandaan para madali nyo matranslate ang inyong statement into, o the verbal statement guys, into yung mathematical statement or yung inyong linear inequalities. So, for less than or equal to, we use the word not greater than, does not exceed, no more than, at iba pa. So, for example, Guys, we use the word greater than or equal to if we use the word at least, not less than, not under, minimum value, at syempre, more than. So, ito po yung ginagamit natin, guys, na mga keyword for greater than or equal to. So, tandaan nyo, guys, na napaka-importante na alam nyo yung mga words ito, ito kasi ito yung magdidikta ng inyong maging kasagutan. So, let's have a problem now. So, Rene can spend at most, the word is at most, 20 hours in a week for his two part-time jobs. So, he worked as a waiter for an, some events at 50 pesos per hour. And a storekeeper, and as a storekeeper for 30 pesos per hour. So, if he needs not more than 600 pesos a week for his schooling, how many hours does he spend on each job? So, we're going to use, we're going to look for the best combination of hours that could give him not more than 600 pesos, pero at least 600 pesos. Let's try. So, alam mo na guys yung mga importanteng detalye ng ating problem. So, the first thing is not, so at most, 20 hours a week. The other one is yung being waiter, we have a 50 pesos per hour. Being a storekeeper, we have 30 pesos per hour, which is the rate. And the other one is he needs not more than 600 pesos. Okay? For his schooling, syempre. So, out of the given statement, guys, so we're going to have our representation. We just let X be the number of hours he works as a waiter and Y for the number of hours he works as a storekeeper. So, out of that, those representation, guys, we, we have X and Y for the waiter and the storekeeper. Ngayon, gagawa po tayo ng ating equation. We need to translate the following statement, the red statement, into our equation. So, we make a table out of that, guys. So, napasin nyo po, nabuo natin yung equation na X plus Y less than or equal to 20, and 50x plus 30y, less than or equal to 600. So, una po sa inyo po, bakit po naging ganun? Kasi guys, sabi na dito, at most 20 hours a week. So, yung po ay sa ating statement, yung po ay less than or equal to 20. So, ang tandaan natin guys, kapag in natin yung hours for the x, which is our representation, and y for the being a storekeeper, ang x natin ay sa waiter, Pag i-add po natin guys yun, yung x time natin and y time, o x hours and y hours, dun po nabubuo yung 20 hours. Kaya po nabubuo natin yung equation na x plus y less than or equal to 20 hours. Sabi kasi at most. So, sa next equation na muna natin guys, bubuo po tayo for yung kita naman niya. So, 50 times x which is the rate for r. So, 50 pesos x times the time. Yun po yung kikitain niya. Basi sa ilang oras ang kinita, in, uh, ginawa niya as a waiter. Yun naman guys, 30 pesos times y, ang y yung time na, yung hours na siya yung nag-spend as storekeeper. So, 30 times y yung kinita niya. Ang sabi daw, kailangan not more than 600 pesos. Kaya po naging siyang less than or equal to 600. Kaya nabuo natin guys yung equation natin na x plus y less than or equal to 20 and 50x plus 30y na less than or equal to 600. So, nagkabuo tayong dalawang equation out of the given statement. So, kung nare-recall nyo guys, so sa linear inequality, sa problem solving, isa lang ang nabuo natin equation. Dito guys, dalawa. At parehas natin siyang igagrap. So, try natin siyang igrap ngayon. So, syempre equation in graphing, I'm going to grab the first statement. So, I just make x plus y less than equal to 20 as 
x plus y equals to 20 para mas madali siyang masagutan. So, I'm going to use guys x and y intercept here. So, same thing with the other one. Ganun din ang gagawin ko. So, I just make x a 0 to find the y intercept. So, ngayon nakabuo ko ng y intercept na 0b o 020. So, ginawa ko lang ang x natin ay 0. Same thing with y guys. Gagawin ko rito siyang 0. So, x plus y equals to 20. X plus 0 equals to 20 or X we have 20. And we have the X intercept 20 and 0. So, kailangan nyo guys, kailangan nyo i-recall to kung paano gumawa nito para madali kayo mga pag-graph. So, we have X plus Y less than equal to 20. So, we're going to have a solid line. Okay? So, try po natin siyang i-graph. Ang ginawa ko guys ay by 2 sa ilalim. Same thing sa ibabaw by 2. Ayun pa na buong line. Ayan. Para makita nyo. Ngayon, sinaid ko yung region below. Kasi po guys, after we put our X and Y intercept, kailangan po natin siyang i-test. So, by testing guys, I make both equation to 0. So, napansin nyo po, we have X plus Y less than equal to 20. Ginawa ko siyang pares 0. By looking at the origin, so tandaan nyo guys, ang origin po natin ay ito. We have 0 less than equal to 20. Okay? Naman, anong? Sir, ba't hindi nyo tinodo pa hanggang baba? Ba't hindi kasama yung negative? Kasi wala naman pong negative hours. Ngat siya po, wala pong nagtrabaho ng negative hours. So, kukunin lang natin guys yung positive side. So, since we're looking for a definite time. So, wala pong negative hours guys. So, lagi po siyang positive. Kung, ibig sabihin guys, ang kinuha ko lamang, pwede kang i-shade mo more than itong sa tabihan, kasama mo po yung sa baba. Pero guys, ang kinuha ko lang yung positive side. So, sana po clear sa inyo yung bagay nun kasi po, we're talking about a definite time at guys, wala pong negative na oras. Okay? So, yung X and Y guys, so we have 20, 0, ito po yun. And 0, 20, ito po yun. So, after testing guys, so sinade natin yung part na yun. Now, after we uh, plot the first inequality natin, yung second inequality naman natin. We have 50x plus 30y less than or equal to 600. So, ginawa ko siyang equal ngayon. So, 50 times 0, that will be 0. 30y equals to 600. Or, we have y equal to 20. So, we meron tayong 0, 20 for our y intercept. Now, I'll be doing the same para guys sa ating x intercept. So, guys, hindi lang ito guys yung paraan para i-grab to ha. Marami pang paraan. Pinipakita ko lang sa inyo, isa po ito sa mga paraan. So, we have 50x plus 30y less than equal to 600. So, I'm just make them equal again. So, we were going to make y as 0 naman. 0 naman po ang gagawin nating y para po makuha ang x natin. So, meron pa tayong 50x equals to 600. x equals to 12. We have an x intercept a0 equals to 12, 0. So, yun guys, try natin siyang i-grab. So, we're going to grab this equation para makuha natin po. So, napasin nyo guys, ang una kong ginarap ay yung unang equation kanina. Now, kailangan po natin ilapat yung sunod nating equation para makuha natin yung double shaded region which is our uh, linear, uh, which is the solution for the system of linear inequalities. So, ngayon, so napasin nyo po, so, that statement is true. Y-intercept natin ay 0, 20 at saka po 12, 0. So, napasin nyo po, ang 12, 0 po natin ay ito. Ito po yung 0, 20 natin. Tapos, minark po natin siya as a solid line. Since naman po ay may equal to. Okay? So, napasin nyo guys, kung isa-shade po natin yan, yan po yung maging double shade region na sa loob na yun. Ngayon, hindi natin kinuha guys yung negative kasi we're talking about oras again ha guys, positive na oras okay now, ang tanong how do we get the best solution for the problem now, out of that given statement guys do sa loob mismo ng shaded region na yun, we're just going to look for the points, lahat ng points inside that shaded region guys, ay consider natin yung sagot so pero I'm just going to pick at least yung mga the best na possible ng sagot na makakuha tayo ng 600 pesos. Kailangan guys, sa exacto or uh, at least so, so, umabot sa 600 pesos sa kailangan. 
So, kung napansin nyo guys, ito yung mga point na nakuha natin. So, kasama guys yung unang point natin, ito po, ito, 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 at saka ito. Yun yung mga points sa possible natin. So, sabi kasi dito guys, to determine the best possible solution for the problem, we need to test the points within the double shaded region. Sabihin yung kabuuan ng shaded region. We'll get the best possible answer to our problem. So, I try to have those points guys, yung limang points na yan, at ito yung mga solution set na possible. Ito lang guys, yung mga best solution na pwede natin ibigay. Pero guys, sinasabi ko sa inyo, lahat within that region, double shaded region, kasama po yung line, ay sagot. Okay? Pimula lang po tayo ng mga points the, the best na pwede nating makuha. So guys, yung napasin nyo po, we have 0, 20, 3, 15, 6, 10, 9, 5, and 12, 0. So yung value po ng X natin will be the number of hours sa waiter. Yung Y naman natin, yung value for the Y hours or yung sa storekeeper. So napasin nyo guys, dito, we have 0, 20, so 0 sa wait, magiging waiter, tapos 20 hours naman sa storekeeper. We have naman dito, 3 hours, waiter, 15 hours, storekeeper, 6 hours, waiter, 10 hours, a storekeeper, 9 hours, as a waiter, and 5 hours, a storekeeper. Same thing with this, 12 hours, sa pagiging waiter, and 0 hours, for pagiging waiter. Now, after guys doon, pwede makuha yung value niya. Since ang pagiging waiter ay 50 pesos per hour, multiply mo lang siya. So, ito po yung magiging sagot niya. Okay. So, as a storekeeper, ito po yung kanyang magiging number of hours. Ito naman po yung kikitain niya for 30 pesos per hour. So, total number of hours, guys, kailangan ay less than 20 hours. At least, equal sa 20 hours or less than. So, lumabas po, guys, na 20, 20 18, 16, 14, at saka 12. At, guys, yung total income, all of them got a 600 pesos. So, yung na possible na sagot for our problem will be 020-315-610-95 and 12-0. Those are the following hours na pwede niyang trabahuin ang pagiging waiter at pagiging storekeeper. So, that is the solution for our problem. Okay, so, I hope guys uh, you learned something from this video. If you like this video, kindly like this and share it with your co-teachers para po maging... mas updated ka sa ating mga discussion. So guys, I hope you still follow my channel. Ito po yung mga channel ko. And maraming salamat po sa pagtambay sa aking page. So, so maraming salamat po. Kindly add me sa Facebook, sa Instagram po. And siyempre, please follow my two channel, Biang Real Life TV and Hugot Sip na yan. So God bless po. Ingat po. See you on the next video guys. At sana po i-share niyo po yung mga video ito sa ating mga sudyante as a reference video po para mas makatulong po sa kanila. Kaya po, ingat. See you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye!